Welcome to the Ordovician period. The Ordovician was a period in time 440 million years ago, way before our mastodon, and even way before dinosaurs roamed the earth, such as our Allosaurus. It might be hard to imagine now, but during the Ordovician, Indiana was completely underwater. It was a shallow sea, and it was also near the equator, so it was much warmer than we have today. Did you know that in Richmond, you can find a lot of fossils from the Ordovician time period just by taking a walk outside? One of the most common fossils found in this area is known as the horn coral. Horn corals are related to modern corals, as well as sea anemones and jellyfish. Horn corals are especially common found in riverbeds and streams in the Richmond and Wayne County, Indiana area. Many people find horn corals and mistakenly think they're dinosaur teeth. However, as you can see in this image, the horn coral that we find is the base of the coral plant, and then the animal of the coral is growing out the top. Another commonly found fossil is the bryozoan. Bryozoans were another form of coral. Bryozoan were animals that were filter feedered and could be identified by the textured pattern. As you can see in this picture of a modern bryozoan, there was a hard part to the animal as well as the soft fleshy part. The part that we find as fossils is only the hard part of the body, whereas the soft fleshy part would have decayed. Crinoids are another common fossil. They are kind of a kinoderm, often called sea lilies, but they're actually an animal. They're related to modern starfish and sea urchins. They look like plants, but they're actually animals. In addition to finding the entire crinoid, you might find pieces of their column or a cross section commonly called the crinoid button. Cephalopods were mollusks related to modern day squid, cuttlefish, and octopi. These nautiloids had long straight shells, and in their modern relatives today, they are often curved as seen in animals like the giant squid. Trilobites are a type of arthropod that can be found in this area. There are many different kinds of trilobites, some that are more curled up that you can find, and some that are more flat and long. They kind of look like modern roly-polies. And their closest living relative is the horseshoe crab. Brachiopods are one of the most common and easiest to identify fossils found in our area. They're related to modern clams, scallops, and other mollusks. Brachiopods, like modern mollusks, were filter feeders, so they ate whatever was carried nearby by the current. Brachiopods had two shells known as valves, so they're often referred to as bivalves. If you've been to the Joseph Moore Museum, you might recognize this as our Ordovician exhibit. Now we're gonna teach you how to go outside here in Richmond in the Wayne County area and find your own Ordovician fossils. Then you can take them home and create your own Ordovician exhibit. Today we're taking you to one of the best spots in Richmond to find fossils. It's right near the high school at the intersection of Southwest G and Hub Etchison Parkway. And you can see where we're located if you go right across from the football field. As you're entering the trail, you'll see this sign leading to the Whitewater Valley Gorge Park Trail. As soon as you start making your way down the trail, start looking off to the side in, at the trees and seeing if you can find any rocks. Those rocks more than likely have fossils in them. As you walk down the trail, stop and look at all the rocks, especially on your right. As you can see, we haven't made our way very far down the trail yet, and already we're finding fossils. Laying right here on the edge, we found this fossil. This rock has lots of different fossils in it. You can see some bryozoans. You can also see some brachiopods. Spots along your way like this where the hillside's relatively bare with lots of crumbling rocks are excellent places to find fossils. Coming down into the stream bed, we're not finding as many fossils down here, but we are finding some. Here's a really great example of a horn coral. Back up. Go back. Here's another example of a good fossil that we found. You can see lots of brachiopods as well as bryozoan on this fossil. So this afternoon, 
we're at Thistleweight Falls here outside of Springwood Park in Richmond. It is another really good place to find fossils here in town. Um, right now we're on the north side of the bridge above the falls, upstream from the falls, and uh, there's a little area down here that's full of rocks where you can grab rocks, pick them up, and find all kinds of fossils in all of them. So right here we have one that's got a lot of brachiopods. You can see that they're mostly like small pieces, but there's a lot of them in there. If you look at the rocks really close to the water here at Thistleweight, you can find a lot of the fossils have actually been worn by the water out of the rock. And so you can find individual fossils that are already somewhat prepped for you. There's some really nice fossils down here at the bottom of the falls, finding all kinds of stuff. Here's a nice brachiopod. Here's a corn coral. Here's another really nice horn coral here that's almost completely out of the surrounding rock. Lots of fragments of brachiopods and bryozoans as well. While you're here, there's a really cool hit geologic history of the gorge you can read. It tells you about the glaciation and the Whitewater Gorge and how it formed. You can also learn about the history of Thistleweight Falls and how it was formed.